If you're a working parent, then you'll surely know how important it is to have a babysitter at your disposal. When you're trying to simultaneously manage your career, your social life, and your household, there will be unavoidable moments in which getting someone to look after your child is a necessity. This was the situation Claudia Sorihando, a working mom from Florida, found herself in. She had to leave her two-month-old daughter, Ava, under the care of her teenage niece. Claudia was fairly confident that her precious baby girl was in good hands. Her niece, after all, was a trusted member of the family who had looked after other kids in the past. When Claudia received a photo of her daughter from her niece, however, she realized that the teen was not your typical babysitter. In fact, her childcare methods were unorthodox, to say the least. What is it about this photo that left Claudia so stunned? Keep watching to find out. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot, and here is Overprotective Mom Let's Niece Look After Her Baby. Minutes later, she receives this heart-stopping photo. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Claudia Soriando, like most working moms, had to juggle her responsibilities at work and at home. She had a newborn daughter, Ava, to take care of, and a demanding job that she needed in order to pay the bills. Claudia was overwhelmed, but she was determined to make things work for the sake of her child. Claudia was incredibly protective of Ava, and she tried her best to be with the little girl as often as possible. Having a full-time job, however, meant that this was not always achievable. There were instances where hiring a babysitter was necessary. Claudia lived in Lakeland, Florida. Several of her close friends and relatives lived in the same neighborhood, and they were all witnesses to how much she loved Ava. They knew how overprotective she was as a mother, and they were aware of the fact that she didn't like the idea of being away from her daughter for too long. When Claudia received a call from work one day asking her to attend an important meeting, her heart sank. She couldn't possibly leave Ava alone, and bringing her along was not possible. She needed a solution, and she had to think fast. Once the call had ended, Claudia began thinking about what she could do next. Though she had the option of skipping that meeting to stay with Ava, she knew this would hurt her career. Claudia had worked so hard to get where she was, and she wasn't prepared to jeopardize her career, as that would only hurt Ava in the long run. Claudia had already taken time off work after giving birth, and there were other instances when she needed to take additional days off to care for Ava when she was sick. This meeting was too important for her to miss. Claudia knew instinctively that staying home would not bode well for her future prospects in the company. Having decided that she had to make it to the meeting no matter what, Claudia's next task was to find someone to look after Ava while she was away. Even though she wasn't going to be gone long, Claudia couldn't settle on anything less than a babysitter she knew, without a doubt, she could trust. The nervous mom contacted several of her friends and relatives to ask if they could watch over Ava for a while. Since this was a last-minute request, getting someone to say yes was almost impossible. With each rejection, Claudia became increasingly frustrated. Luckily, her sister said she knew someone who could take on the job. Claudia's sister suggested that Jan, her 15-year-old daughter, could babysit little Ava. Claudia knew that Jan was a responsible young lady but she still had reservations about leaving her newborn child with a teenager. Taking care of such a young child was a huge responsibility. Claudia's sister assured her that Jan was perfectly capable of babysitting since she'd looked after plenty of other children before. Claudia trusted her sister, but she couldn't shake a strange feeling of dread in the pit of her stomach. Because of this, Claudia didn't say yes to her sister right away. Instead, she kept this option open while checking in with other potential babysitters. Claudia made a few more calls in search of a sitter, but to no avail. She didn't have much time left, and she had to decide fast. At that point, she knew her only options were to risk her job by skipping the meeting or to let her teenage niece look after Ava. In the end, Claudia cast her doubts aside and decided to give Jan a call. Jan assured her aunt that she would be able to handle the babysitting duties on top of her other responsibilities at school. At the time, Claudia had no idea calling her niece was going to be a life-changing decision. Claudia was a nervous wreck as she waited for Jan to arrive, though she repeatedly reassured herself that she was leaving her daughter under the care of someone she knew very well, this did nothing to calm her anxiety. To keep her mind off things, 
Claudia tried to focus on preparing for the meeting. When Jan finally arrived, Claudia showed her around the house, explaining where she could find everything she might possibly need, including a list of numbers to call in case of an emergency. Not long after, Claudia kissed Ava goodbye and drove off to her meeting. Claudia's commute seemed to take longer than usual, and she was anxious to see whether any messages from Jan had come through. When Claudia finally reached the office, the first thing she did was check her phone. She wanted to know how Jan and Ava were doing back home. Claudia held her breath as she checked for a message from Jan. She was getting worried and just wanted assurance that everything was okay. Then, as if on cue, Claudia received a message from her niece along with a picture of Ava. Claudia glanced at the thumbnail image and immediately noticed that something was off. She couldn't properly see what was happening in the photo, but she could tell that it was unusual. At that moment, negative thoughts poured into Claudia's mind and she felt a sinking sensation in her stomach. Fearing the worst, Claudia tapped on the thumbnail image to see the full-size photo. It took forever to load and she was becoming increasingly agitated. Claudia wondered whether she'd made the right choice by entrusting her child to her niece. What if she just stayed home instead? Claudia was desperate for answers, but the photo just wouldn't load fast enough. She needed all the information she could possibly get, so she decided to take a look at the caption Jan sent along with the photo. Jan definitely had a lot of explaining to do. In the caption, Jan explained that she was feeling hungry, so she decided to go to the kitchen to make herself a sandwich. Claudia paused for a moment as her motherly instincts kicked in. Though she hadn't even seen the photo yet, she suspected something must have happened to Ava while Jan left her alone to go to the kitchen. From the thumbnail image, Claudia noticed that Ava's legs looked like they were swollen and somewhat contorted. Claudia ran through different possible scenarios as she attempted to piece it all together. Did Ava fall from her high chair or crib, or was this caused by an allergic reaction that no one knew about? Claudia had always been paranoid about Ava, but being away from her daughter made her fear so much worse. Then, just as Claudia was making plans to head home, the photo Jan sent finally loaded. Claudia's worries immediately shifted gears when she realized what was actually going on. Up till that moment, Claudia had been worried that something happened to Ava and that she needed to head home immediately. When she finally saw the photo, however, she came to the realization that all her fears were unfounded. Though the picture looked scary, she had absolutely nothing to worry about. Jan knew how protective her Aunt Claudia was of Ava, and she didn't like the idea of Ava being left unsupervised. When Jan started to get hungry, she knew that leaving her little cousin alone while she made herself a sandwich was not an option, so she had to get creative. Jan was hungry and wanted to go to the kitchen, but she didn't want to let Ava out of her sight. So the clever teenager placed her baby cousin inside her loose pair of shorts to form a makeshift kangaroo pouch. That way, Ava could still be close to her while well, she made a sandwich. It was a strange solution, but it worked. Jan shared in an interview that she couldn't find the baby holster, but she had to keep an eye on Ava somehow. Then she asked her younger sister to take a photo to show her aunt that she was doing a good job. Claudia admired her niece's ingenuity. She knew this was something she couldn't keep to herself, so she took to social media to share it with friends and family. Claudia logged onto her Facebook account and uploaded the photo that Jan sent along with the caption explaining what was happening, describing the clever maneuver as creativity at its finest. Though she was relieved to see that Jan was being responsible with caring for her child, Claudia wasn't sure whether her friends and other family members would react positively to the clever solution. Though she herself found the photo hilarious, she knew other people might not necessarily react the same way. Ava was still a delicate infant after all, and people would naturally be concerned about her safety. Claudia knew the photo would garner a reaction from her Facebook friends, especially her family members. Her family was quite tight-knit, and they all liked reacting to each other's posts. Claudia was curious to find out what they thought of Jan's idea. Once the photo had been posted, Claudia put her phone back in her pocket and went about her business at work. When she finally had time to check her phone again a few hours later, she went on Facebook to see if anyone had reacted to the photo. What she saw produced her second massive shock of the day. Not long after Claudia posted the photo, the reactions from her Facebook friends started trickling in. Claudia was relieved to see everyone's comments were overwhelmingly positive, praising Jan for her cute idea and her dedication to the job. Several of her friends also shared the photo with their own Facebook friends, and it quickly gained more attention. 
Within a few hours, Claudia's photo had received thousands of likes and hundreds of comments. Claudia couldn't believe what she was seeing. She couldn't help but be mesmerized as the comments and likes came flooding in. Her photo had gone viral. Claudia read through the comments on her post. Some people were tagging their friends while others were simply laughing or pointing out how adorable baby Ava looked. There were quite a number of comments, however, that got Claudia's attention and sparked an idea. Several people commented on how brilliant this idea was and how they wished they'd thought of this sooner. Some moms were even asking where they could get the pants Jan was wearing as they seemed like perfect baby carriers. Seeing how much people loved Jan's idea, Claudia figured it might be time to start a business of her own. Claudia found all the comments on her Facebook post inspiring, and she couldn't wait to start working on this business venture. Regular baby carriers were usually expensive, and Claudia felt that there were mothers who would prefer a cheaper alternative. Claudia shared her idea with Jan as soon as she arrived home later that day. It didn't take long before the two had a workable design in mind for kangaroo pants for mothers. In honor of the inventor of the idea, Claudia decided to call the project Japants, with the photo Claudia posted continuing to garner more and more attention. Claudia and Jan knew they couldn't let this brilliant idea go to waste. Claudia and Jan were both very excited about this venture and were eager to start as soon as possible. However, they were also aware of the fact that starting even a small business would require a lot of money. They had to think of ways to get funding if they really wanted to make this work. Claudia started a GoFundMe page to raise money so they could get their adorable business idea off the ground. On the page, Claudia wrote that Jan was designing a working model to go with the very basic model. She praised her young niece's drive and creativity and asked for everyone's help in encouraging her to design something that would be helpful to caregivers everywhere. So far, Claudia and Jan have raised $220 through the GoFundMe page. While they still have a long way to go before their crowdfunding initiative reaches its goal, people from all over the world have started donating in hopes that Japan's will one day become a reality. Whatever comes of this experience, Claudia is happy that she realized just how truly lucky she is to have such a loving and supportive family by her side. She shared her appreciation for Jan and how she actually went above and beyond to make sure that she never let Ava out of her sight. We think it's safe to assume that she'll never doubt her niece's babysitting skills again.